Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Gemini Cancer, this is your reading. Gemini Cancer Cusp. This is your reading for the week of July 13th through the 19th. Um, whatever stagnation, whatever um, setback, whatever delays were present are being removed. Um, there is a movement forward. Um, I do feel that other people played a part in helping you either get unstuck or um, allowing the, these delays to to be removed so because there is definitely like this reaching out to someone saying like oh thank you for your help thank you for your assistance etc so there is definitely um a play here where assistance came in whether you asked for it or not maybe somebody saw that you were you know if you were at work somebody saw that you were falling a little behind and they were already done they came in they offer help something maybe that simple um you know you're trying to grab something out of um you know the supermarket and you're not tall enough and somebody grabs it for you so something simple like that but that gratitude energy of being grateful for the help or assistance even if it's not in direct combination with what it is that you're stuck in allows you to get unstuck because then it's, it's, it's almost like your energy shifts within where you're no longer feeling that stuck feeling so everything else in your life begins to flow there is an ending to a cycle a cycle that was that was challenging but that brought a lot of lessons within it um but it's almost like in the recent past the cycle wanted to restart Again, it can be in love, it can be with your work ethic, it can be with your self-love, it can be with your spirituality, your um, mental status, whatever it was. And you were able to recognize the patterns that begin this cycle, or the patterns that lead you to the cycle, and then you were able to stop it on its track in order to not allow it to interfere. Now, when we talk about you as a whole, right, we talk about your, your mind, your spirit, your soul, your physical body, your emotions, there, there's something, one of those aspects is a little, needs a little tweaking. Um, and the, the weird way it is that it's like, it's one of those aspects, but it's greatly affecting another one. So if you haven't been getting enough exercise, and I'm not telling you to go to the gym and spend three hours at the gym, but there is a need here to kind of have a little bit more movement, right? Like every couple of hours, like just stand up, you know, walk around, um, maybe go for a walk in the evening. Um, if you're restricted from walking, like sit down, like, you know, move your arms, do something, but do some type of movement with your body. Um, and I feel that that in itself is going to have a great effect when it comes to your emotional and mental, um, your mental health. Um, because sometimes it's like just the sitting there, the no action, the no movement can kind of almost bring you down, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. But for the most part, your week looks pretty good. I feel that um, you're definitely staying on track with, um, you know, with work and with everything else. You're balancing out your work and play pretty good this week. Um, some of you wish you had a little bit more play than, than you actually do. But just know that that is coming. Just don't rush it. Um, be careful not to overextend yourself this week. Um, again, I feel that you have a pretty good hold, especially beginning of the week when it comes to balancing everything. So just because everything seems to be flowing and everything like that, don't overdo it. Um, because you're still in that process of learning how much you can actually take in and how to set those boundaries and not feel guilty when you say no. 
So now let's go ahead and let's pull out um, three oracle cards. Now these can be confirmations to the reading, confirmations to something that you may need to know that didn't come out in the reading, or just simple advice. We have the warrior, be fearless and stand your ground. And I feel that like this is definitely coming in when, when you have to say no, right? Um, at times, you're not saying no, it's not because you're being selfish or anything like that. It's just literally because you have other things that are taking priority. And nobody should really take an offense to that, right? Um, you have things that you have to get done. You have things that um, need more of your attention. And that just means saying no to certain things. Because remember, every time you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. We have the protection guardian. Drop your shield. So if you're being very overprotective or you are feeling like people are coming after you or anything like that, um, it, it's not so much that. It's more of the boundaries that you set. So if you feel that people ask too much of you or expect too much of you, or people are always coming towards you to um, solve their issues is because you have allowed it. So setting boundaries doesn't necessarily mean putting up complete shields where you're not helping anyone. Is knowing when you're able to, when you have the time, when you have that mental clarity, when you're emotionally okay to go ahead, uh, go ahead and help others. With the spirit fox, we have trust your talents in changing times. So again, this balancing act um, of learning how to say no to certain things about setting very strict boundaries with yourself when it comes to like, you know what, I can do this, but I can't do these other three things this week to help. I can help you with this, but I can't help you with that. And, you know, if somebody is asking you for, for help and it's like time time consuming or time demanding like it has to be at a specific time and you know that you already you are you already have something to do at that time then you simply say no if somebody's ha asking you for help on something and they're not giving you a time then you can say well i can help you between you know this time like six and seven um or five and you know five and six or five and seven whatever it is but letting Letting yourself set the tone and the boundaries as to what people can take or what you're willing to give to others. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And thank you to all of those that have been donating. It is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't liked, share, or subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah. Love you all. Bye-bye.